Hey guys, what's up? This is Transom, back with video number two for the second story in Grimm, a series made by American McGee's. Uh, this one is Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's been since the last video released, but I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying the series. It's something that I can take a few hours. Yeah, that's about right few hours at the end of the day after I finish all my college work and sit down and just have some fun recording relax and then I just add them together and I throw them out for you guys so I hope you're enjoying them but that's all aside from the point for now I want you to watch this video have an awesome time let's get in here and have some fun we are now on scene four Little Red Riding Hood arrives at Grandmother's house. The ninny makes it to Granny's. But is she in time? Oh, I certainly hope not. Make it gross. Let's move! Alright. I actually like this story a lot better than the first one. Not for any particular reason, it's just... Now, I'm smelly! One more fun, I guess. Yeah, so I got a chance to... Uh, now, who's stinky? <laughs> do a little bit of research before this one the grim version of Low Red Riding Hood, which I don't know about you guys, but I did not grow up with. Well, actually, I guess I kind of did. I knew both stories. But according to the grim story, Robin stomping, butt kicking good. Uh, Low Red Riding Hood was warned by quite a few people to stay on the path to her grandmother's house. And basically just ignored all of them and got into a lot of trouble and it's somewhat similar to the story we know from that point. But What? What? Maybe I'm not being nearly clear enough. What? There were no gnomes in the original grid. version of Snow White. They're not. That's no white. <laughs> A floor red riding hood. I do not understand what's going on. Are they interfering with my message? Now I I will get rid of those annoying things if it's the last thing I do. Rump and stump! That wasn't the goal given.
hope so. Oh, I've almost got my rim meter up to a new record. I've never had it this high. This is kind of cool. And they were annoying. And now I'm on much higher level than I've ever been. Now I have another secret. Cool. I think the birds are split in half. I don't know. Nothing's gonna beat Stop those it. tears. <coughs> Red notices something's amiss, but not nearly amiss enough for me. Cease the charade, wolf. Make it disgusting. Stop it! All right. Gosh. Did we just willingly get eaten? Let's move. Oh man. Are those Oh man. The belly of the beast. Ugh. Even this dismal stinkhole needs some refurbishing. Stop enjoying the digestive juices. Make it smelly. <laughs> I think that's his heart. Up there. Can't look up. What's the death trap? Grim. Gosh. <laughs> cool water. Liquids have drowned my sorrows, but this is ridiculous. What is going on? Oh, I can walk around like this. Wish I'd noticed that earlier. Don't be good. So I'm still not feeling good, just for the record. My apologies for that. Oh gosh. That's gonna give him indigestion. Away. <coughs> what the? Oh my, okay, I Make get the reference. Gross. I was talking about the original story in the first video. In the original one, they both get eaten and then a woodcutter comes along. Actually, no, in the original one, it's a hunter. It changes a little bit. Grim's stinky now. But, uh... Anyways, the wolf...
wolf gets his stomach cut open by the hunter. Rumpin' stump! Actually, that may be an inversion. Grim may be the one. There's tons of Rumpin versions of the story. <laughs> There's no telling which ones. Actually, right. Grave, the <laughs> I'd agree with him. I could choose my grave. Watery would not be one of them. Chomping stump. Oh my gosh. I get the reference of the three chairs. Stomp it! Well, it doesn't seem unfamiliar, really. Just no. not what I can recall. Here comes the pesky woodsman <coughs> to rescue the idiots from their demise. Come on, friend, let them digest a little longer, eh? Make it rotten. And the game itself has been weird, but this is just odd. Alright. Back over there, I guess. I don't think about it. I haven't found any grim secrets. I assume there's something in here. There's like an awfully intricate and large map. Oh gosh. Or they're not to be. <coughs> Hate being sick. Worst is, I don't even know what I'm sick with yet. I'm hoping it would go away. Unfortunately, no luck. No such luck. Come on. Not that direction, this direction. A watery ah. grave, the worst kind. Okay, how come I didn't notice this until just now? Really? Ooh, a grim secret, a grim secret. Secret found! Right now, I want to go back and make sure I didn't miss any. Doesn't look like I did. Better safe than sorry. I think the audio track messed up a bit there. Well, I have one secret, that's good enough.
Okay, I found two of them. I'm happy now. Technically, that's not water, Grim. <coughs> Just saying. No, that's actually a really horrible mental image. I'm not sure why I allowed myself to think that. Getting close. Stop it! I will in a second. Need to make sure. Don't delay, a... but right. stomp away. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that, Grim. By the way, thank you for interrupting me. As I was gonna say, this is ending up pretty long. I'm not sure. How long this will end up being in total? Rump Hopefully not stomp. too long. <coughs> I am sorry for all the coughing. I'm trying to cover my mouth so it doesn't mess with you guys that much, but I'm sure you can still hear it. So morbid. I no one likes the wolf, but he just like slaughtered it. <coughs> Final scene. Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma are rescued by a woodsman. Ah, everything good has to end. I'd hoped they'd melt away in there. As it is, the woodsman has salvaged their worthless hides. Now they'll want revenge. Well, let's make sure it's painful. <laughs> Make it foul. Do it now. Hi, <laughs> Commander. Beesh. Sometimes he's so bossy. Now I'm. Now who's stinky? I wonder if there's any grim secrets hidden on this side. Not yet. Now who's <laughs> gross? <laughs> oh my gosh. So I figured out the birds aren't cut in half, the cage closes in on them and slices them. How morbid is that? Cockroach on toast. <laughs> but stomp it. 
Now, I'm having a hard time figuring out why the birds in the air are harder to change than the birds in the cage. Guess it's not my place to judge. Naturally, but <coughs> if he's going to die, let's make sure it's gruesome. Make it Man. disgusting. His stomach is split open over there. That's oh, it's morbid and disgusting all at the same time. I just noticed all these files are trying to be chopped up wolf parts. The coolest part about that is how far it reaches. Getting close to the end. Chomp and stump. I'll get to him in a minute. Yeah, if I'm gonna be honest, the sheer existence of these cleanly, cleanly, cleanliness woodsmen is a little bit disgusting. These aren't even woodsmen, they look like wolfmen, just wolfmen, not not like that. Rompin, stompin, butt kicking good! I meant that instead of chopping wood, it looks like they're just killing wolves. Dust to dust, ashes to ashes, to his final reward, the old wolf dashes. <laughs> that really showed them! All right, that was awful.
Now that we've made these tasty revisions, the story bears a passing resemblance to a decent tale. I mean, when a big bad wolf meets a young girl alone in the woods, what are the chances that she would escape their meeting without violence? No, no. There's no happily ever after here. Someone or something had to die. Changes had to be made, you see. No choice, really. Red, you lazy slut. Go see if the old bag's ready for the worms. If she's still kicking, steal some eggs or a piece of cheese. Don't dally! I'm starving. Come closer, my pretty dove. Small birds make tasty treats. This one has a metallic aftertaste. You wouldn't like it. I'll see you again. Not if I see you first, and my granny has a gun! Ah. Oh. Going to Granny's, are we? Well, I'll make sure to avoid that repulsive hole. Granny demands flowers and proves the smell of her place. She never asks where or how I get them. Oh, I'm nearly ill. I eat so much. Oh, Granny wasn't even that good. <laughs> Granny, you look terrible, if you don't mind me saying. But I'm pretty on the inside. <laughs> Granny, do you have your toad stabber? It's still in my apron, damn it, blood. He could have slid his gut and rolled our sorry butts out of here. What about the back door? Do you have any matches? That gas leak looks promising. Smell good, too. Alas, I've got nothing but my birthday suit. The wolf, inebriated and helpless from his recent meal, was set upon by a half-crazed bounty hunter who had been tracking him for weeks. Only by chance did Granny and Red Riding Hood escape the blade of his fearsome axe. They tumbled out of his belly, stinking, but allegedly no worse for wear. <coughs> Granny, the woods are nasty and wild. You should move to the village. I'd have to see your mother too often. No, thank you. And the woods are safer now. But there are still big bad wolves. Maybe you won't be so lucky next time. Worst thing to happen, you might miss me. Nobody else would. Now I'll die another day. They might have survived. I doubt it. In the French version, Perrault says they both got gobbled up and digested. It warms the heart and other parts when all the creatures in a tale get what they deserve. May all our stories end so well. Until next time. Alright, thank you, Grim. Uh, this has been Little Red Riding Hood from Grim, the game series. Uh, made by American McGee's. This was really fun. Uh, highly disturbing in some parts. But still better, I guess, than the first one, in a way. Um, the stories were shorter, and that was nice, because I was able to do this in just two videos. But, uh... That last part took a little bit longer than I expected. This one's going to be a 30 minute video and the first one was 20. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it all the same. Uh, up in the top corner there's a link to my page. Where you can go and check out other videos I've made and subscribe to my channel. Uh, the support really helps. I'd love to hear comments on your opinion of the game. Um, also down in the bottom corner there's an emblem that will pop up right about now. And if you click on that, I have a little shop set up to sell stuff. I am building a gaming computer. That way I will have a computer set up specifically for doing my Let's Plays. And so I can get my videos out to you guys faster. So I hope you can give something to that. And uh, you'll get a cool t-shirt or a mug or something in return. Uh, wherever you pay for, wherever you decide. Uh, I love that you guys are enjoying these videos. And I hope that I can keep making them for you. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. This has been, like I said, grim. And I'm going to continue doing this series because I'm having a lot of fun with it. So I hope you enjoy. Catch you later.